All right, y'all, a tale of four time, war games. I've got Chey Chow and David Big Fun Ellis. Well, yeah, smaller fun small now, fun, Ellis. Fun. Yeah. Of, uh, of... Except the medium fun. Okay, all right. You're a lot less fun now. That's, that's true. <laughs> You've lost a lot of fun. <laughs> We're gonna play some war games. You guys are going to, I'm gonna play some war games, I should say. Uh, I guess you guys are gonna rate my performance. What do you, give what, do you tip? what do you expect? So you, so you play video games yeah. and you shoot things sometimes. So with, do you, are you a PC gamer now? Well, I don't. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mouse and keyboard. For that's life. why I talked to you. You were like uh, you were like 12 years old and playing yep. Final Fantasy yep. VII. So that's guilty as charged. Okay. So, how's, how's, okay. how's that beer? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, we're about to play some uh, Capture the Flag on Exile. Okay. Right? So uh, bring it. Yeah. It's gonna get brung. Yeah. All right, so we're getting ready to load in the Exile, which is a medium to big team size map. Uh, we're running 5v5. This is our new capture to flag mode, uh, which we actually debuted and talked about for the first time at uh, PAX Prime this year. And uh, what we're going to see here is we're going to load in. Brad's going to choose his loadouts. Uh, he didn't bother to oh, customize I them. I didn't so set up any loadouts. He's going to be rocking the AR in a big ah, team map. So great. that's going to work out great. <laughs> any armor abilities or any support packages or upgrades or anything? Well, so, fortunately, we set up a custom oh, one at the bottom. Oh, they're all, oh, man. <laughs> there's, a, there's a map specific yeah, one. So Ooh. when people get a chance to play uh, in matchmaking when we launch the game, we're going to have some okay. preset uh, right. loadouts for folks who haven't unlocked things. So okay. you're not. So he's them off, What's going on here? He's going to. Anybody want to ride? Somebody? Nobody wants to ride with man. you. Oh, okay. Crap. That guy wants and now to he's ride. getting shot. And that guy wants something. Get the. Okay. Can, I, can I get the flag and then get back on the. No, no. Wow. So you want to talk about the yeah, committed so flag? Carrier? So we see here as Brad just grabbed gun. the flag and a couple of things happened there. You see that uh, oh. the flag picked up automatically. Brad got <laughs> domed in the head, which is expected. I think, what's the clock? 27 uh, seconds for time to Brad? Log which it. is my new term for time to death. Log it. Because Brad dies quite a bit. Uh, the exile this map real quick just to showcase it's it's set in kind of a uh, ravine and uh, a uh, UNSC cruiser is actually or frigate has actually crashed into it so it's actually built into the geo it's actually pretty Yo, striking yeah. he's got the banshee now the banshee is the equivalent of the well I would say I mean it's between this and the scorpion but I mean which do you prefer in this map um, I, I, I'm partial to the scorpion because you can just reach out and well, shoot people from a distance a little easier. I just I get jacked. I, I mean, people just jump on it and I they're hammering on it and I die. Well, we, one of these, we, of course, we've introduced Sprint as a default. Oh, crap, Brad crap. just got out of the vehicle was, for some bizarre reason bad idea. and is now running for his life. Fortunately, the person who's chasing him in the ghost oh, isn't much better. <laughs> it still got the job done because Brad decided to throw a grenade in the opposite direction. Uh, so why, why did you leave the scorpion? Why did you leave the banshee? That's a winning strategy. Um, no, this is not an active time battle. <laughs> Just stay in the vehicle. Okay, now he's getting into the ghost. What, what are you going to do? Where uh, are you going? I'm going to capture the flag. Isn't that the idea? Um, you're heading towards four people in a banshee. Oh, I don't think that's going to end too well for you, Brad. No, it didn't. Yeah, no, not so good. Not so good. What's up with this camera angle, guys? Uh, if you hit the right stick, you could uh, adjust it or hit it up and down to select any of your uh, teammates. So maybe you could get some pro tips on how to shoot and maybe kill someone. Why are we losing? Because uh, Brad's on the team. This game sucks. Uh, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, yeah, and uh, that. Uh, ouch. Rifle you just got taken out with, which is uh, pretty deadly at long distance. Uh, so that we're ever going to see Brad uh, get an ordnance drop or anything, like, ever? I think it might dr one might drop on his head, but that's, that's probably the only chance we have. I'll take that. that. I think uh, I'll be okay with that. You might want to switch to a pistol uh, as your primary here, just because you can shoot people at a distance with it. It's up close, you can oh. wreck fools or get wrecked. Yeah. So one of the Depending. things you can do, I think that um, you may want to take the time to do it if you, you can customize want. Loadouts right yeah, now. exactly. You can just hit start. Okay. You might want to hide somewhere and then customize your loadouts um, and actually choose some. Oh, oh that, that guy's oh. denied. No ordinance oh. for you. Man. The teammate just jacked the Where is the right teamwork? But uh, you, you can actually set up your, uh, your support and your upgrades to better suit your playstyle, Brad. I don't know what your playstyle is. I don't, I don't, know, that, I don't I know that I have one. I would classify yeah. that as not in the face. That is the uh, Brad's uh, playstyle. Okay. You're, so you're losing one to nothing so right you now. Can, you, can, you, oh. can, uh, you can upgrade, you, you can basically equip the camouflage, the active camouflage to hide if you don't want to get shot, I guess. What do I, so do I have an armor ability would, right now? I would now? press start right yeah. now, Brad. And just hide and then, yeah. Can I, I hit start? And I would hit start and go to modify loadouts. Yeah. Let's go to primary weapon. Let's select the DMR. All right. How about the Noble DMR? 
That works too. Okay. Um, that's all right. Magnum's pretty good. Like you could go with a plasma pistol if, or try the bolt shot. Can I do that? No, totally. Are you guys, you guys are talking about all the Promethean gear? Yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, how, how did you feel with the bolt shot in the campaign? Did you feel like you had a good grasp of it? Or yeah. It's, yeah. It's got a good feel to it. it turns okay. into a shotgun when you want. You know. Yeah, but you have to time it. Yep, mobility. Mobility would be a good one. It's a bigger map. That way oh, you can man. sprint. Uh, Faster shield recharge sounds nope, like. That would, you'd have to survive an encounter oh, to man. take advantage of that. So Fine. I don't think that's going to work out for you. Dexterity, also useful. Dexterity is uh, very useful Great. for me. Yeah. Done. It's reload you know, faster. Once again, you don't need the ammo support package because yeah. you're not going to need it. You're going to be spawning a lot. Great. So, so can I switch to that? Or so I need if to you hit start yeah. again real quick and go to select and the next loadout right at the top uh -huh. and go ahead and select that. Oosh. And the next time you die, okay. uh, which should, should be in about... Oh, seconds. great. Very funny. Uh, Seven seconds, you if said. I, if I get a kill before I die, you guys owe me a beer. Uh, Never no, mind. No, that was, about, that was about 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and the beers are free, so uh. you can die all you want to. Get another one. So it's okay. So now that you have the oh, DMR, man. it's Dude, uh, that, 3x that. zoom. You can shoot at distances. So it's pretty damn accurate. Look at that sick ranges. tiger skin. Uh, the that tiger stripe is being wasted on you. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, if you could have... Uh, wait. Dude, I blew up a tank with a rifle. So that's interesting what happened. What now? <laughs> what? Stole the kill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, so there you go. There you go. Oh, DMR got oh. the right weapon. Oh, get it? Some, Give us two on one. Some old school Quake skills coming out yeah. there, Brad. Yeah, Quake World. Yep. 1996. It's coming back. Yeah, I, I remember that. I'm those days. I'm going to give him credit. That was respectful. Yeah. Yeah. It was 2v1. Yeah. He took out one of them. Uh, you know, a better player would have taken both out. Oh, but. oh, oh what's going on here? Finish them. Nice. Oh, nice. There we see him using yeah, the charge. Yeah, yeah bolt, bolt shot. Now Brad seems to be wondering. Uh, uh, you know what? The needler is worth picking up. I hear. I hear it's pretty good in this no, game. And, and, and it's pistol. it's increasingly. Uh, no, 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 pick up the uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there it is. And then pick up the. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, right. now, yeah, do that. So with the needler, you're gonna wait and wait till it turns red. There oh. you go. Bam. Yeah. Super okay. combine. It's awesome. If you have the reticles turn red, that means you're sort of tracking on an enemy, and you can your needles are going to be stuck into them. Once you land oh. a certain number of needles, they'll super combine and right. explode. In fact, if he has teammates near them, that super combine can actually kill them too. Um, the needlers become my go-to weapon, and when I'm doing legendary runs in campaign, it's incredibly useful. Whereas in the past, you grab like a plasma pistol oh, no. and like a oh. BR DMR car cubby carbine. For me, it's it's all needler all the time in campaign on legendary these days. I love it. Love it so hard. Have you, have you beat the game on Legendary yet? Have you beat the game yet on Legendary? Yes, I have. That's, uh, I mean, I uh, have yet to try that, and that's my, that's kind of what I'm going to do once the game comes out. I'm going to lock myself in my room for, you know, for as long as my wife will allow me. <laughs> So I was actually surprised you beat Reach on Legendary for so long. You got that achievement, well, which is not easy. I... I kind of cheated the last mission with the Mac Cannon. Scored. There's no cheating. It's all tactics. <laughs> it's all, on Legendary yeah. Solo, they're all viable tactics. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, nice. It, the secondary shot again. Hell Legendary is where it's at, man. For me, campaign, Legendary, that's like a... Well, it's like a different game. Yeah. It's, it's where, it's I, where I agree. Yeah. And, and Spartan Ops specifically, we're sort of balancing Spartan Ops for that kind of four player legendary experience. That's sort of what we've been tuning Flight everything reset. towards. Obviously, you can play it by yourself or with any number of people up to four and play it on different difficulty levels. But my personal favorite is always legendary because there's just something satisfying about making it through a mission on legendary. Sometimes you feel like you've. Uh, oh, you know, crap. Oh, ah. I ran through with the ghost. But sometimes it feels like you've, you've encountered like post-traumatic stress disorder when you get done with it because it's, <laughs> it's an experience. But it's a badge of honor, I think, to have the, yeah. those I mean, achievements. I think, I think the, the, the trait with any good Halo game, with any Halo game, really is legendary. You're playing the same scenario a hundred times, and every time you go into it, it's something different, right? It's yeah. like legendary, you die after 30 seconds, and then you try again, and something different happens. And that's, to me, that's, that's why I do legendary. That was, that was kind of my big question yeah. coming, coming into this game because, you know, it's... it's, it's 343's first Halo game if that like combat puzzle would be preserved you know like the the idea that every time you reload the checkpoint something different is going to happen well fortunately we have a lot of tools Shit. at our disposal to kind of introduce those elements uh, that just feel more organic and it's something I've enjoyed with the stuff that I've done on Spartan Ops and I know talking you've talked to any of the other mission designers uh, whether they're campaign or Spartan Ops they'll say the same stuff that's the that, to me that's the part of what makes the secret sauce of what Halo is and it makes yeah. it different uh, feel and play differently than most yeah. other shooters out there I have a lot of fun yeah. with other shooters okay. as well but AKA there's just something sandbox there's just something special about Halo that's yeah. why I work here Reset. 
Yeah, they like to play in the sandbox. Uh, there, however, is nothing special about Brad's team right now. They're down two to nothing. We got time. We just got five minutes. Uh, he is carrying the flag. You notice he's also got a pistol now. With uh, and that pistol, uh, if you get a chance Ooh, to use that, uh, you might want to do that. Yep. So the music changed. That's actually something else. It's the idea of They're actually uh, introducing things like it's like you see the effect. You're carrying the flag. The music's changed. Everything to let you know that you're now the flag carrier. It introduces oh, some stress into it as well. Ah. So that pistol, you want to shoot a little bit slower. Uh, if you can, because uh, the faster you shoot, the less accurate it's going to become. Oh crap! Oh, oh so we flag have off. some flag oh. joust. Oh. Oh, we just saw a flag joust there, and so that's if a flag carrier uh, goes to battle against another flag carrier. Whoever gets the kill there, that flag carrier gets a joust, uh, flag joust medal. I understand. The, basically, that we're. I mean, you're, you're basically committed as a flag carrier. Like you, oh man, you need the team to support you as a flag carrier. That you can't was rough. just suddenly drop it. And are, you, are you making excuses for Brad's effort that he just needed the team to support him there? This is what it sounded like. There's a no bunch excuse. of strangers playing with each other. No one's talking to each other. Yeah, I'm not totally surprised. Yeah. Uh, uh, good game, I guess. Yeah. Let's look at yeah. the post. The best uh, game. Let's look at the carnage support. Uh, yeah. Carnage support. Let's see how many kills you got. Just hit the B button. Okay, so I want to see that bar go up. I said hit the B button. He hit oh. the Y button. That's I'll, close to B. I want to see the, the bar go up, man. And he's unlocked a bunch of stuff. All right. Oops. Oh, so, hit y. Oh. <laughs> or hit back a button. Yep. Sorry. So, Brad, you were scroll down. <laughs> Let's keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Alpha one. I believe 10 and 14, that is not terrible. Yeah, all right. I've yeah. seen far worse. I'll take that. I've seen about nine better. All right, I guess that's Halo 4, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Brad, I am disappointed. Post-game analysis. Let's hear it. You suck. <laughs> Yes, I, on a brighter note, yeah. there is nowhere else to go but up from yeah. here. I mean, okay. This is rock bottom. I mean, this okay. is like 10, 10, 12 step program. This is step one. Yeah. Okay. 10, 10, 14 is not terrible. I mean, he did come in last place, but it's not bad. But more importantly, uh, I've captured flags on a Slayer match, mm. and your team lost three to no, nothing. Which is unfortunate, although, to your credit, you were eager, you are excited, you okay. grabbed the flag a couple times, didn't do anything with it, sure. but you got a chance to hear that music, you got excited. <laughs> I've, got, I've got the team spirit, I've got that esprit de corps, so what can yeah. I do to improve? Well, I think that, I mean, I think in objective games, like David said, think about the, you focus on the objective. Uh, I mean, this, this part, part of my problem is I just like to kill things yeah. sometimes, and I forget that, oh, we have to go do things. And, and, yes, and, 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 so, so do I. Quite simply, one of the things you can do is just when you're playing with people, be communicating with them, and always just have someone else with you. So it's not just you shooting one person, person there's two of you shooting. You were on the receiving end of that a couple of times, kind of team shot mechanic it is super important to Halo, has been for a long time. So uh, how hard are you guys crunching right now? Are you almost done? Um, so I I do more the marketing PR coordination stuff. It's pretty crunchy right now, but I mean he's he can speak to the crunchy crispiness. That's Ex extra crispy there. right yeah, now. Extra crispy. So we have some teams internally that are sort of winding down a little bit because we're getting close to, to finishing off the game. But you know the team I'm working on, Spartan Ops. Uh, you know, we're DLC, so we're going to keep crunching for a little while longer. We've promised, uh, you know, 10 weeks of content, so we have to make sure we actually have, get it ready and uh, and put them out on time. So. Ah, that everlasting crunch. Yeah, are you ever going to go see your family ever again? Um, yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> i got to get back to North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, Brad yeah. and I are from the same state. All that Bojangles ain't going to eat itself. Thanks, guys. Ah, Smithville, chicken and barbecue. <laughs> so good.